Howdy everybody, welcome to uh, another Battletech slash Alpha Strike video. It's Alpha Strike we play, right? Alpha Strike. Uh, you see I got the table set up there and a big mess over there. My wife's in Adelaide presenting at a conference. I'm very proud of her. Uh, you know, her doctorate's coming along greatly. Uh, and she very kindly organized for our oh, chief security officer inspecting what's going on. Hey, don't you get on that. Excuse me. Mr. Gohan, causing a ruckus. <laughs> uh, she organized for a uh, little baby girl to have an extra day at daycare, so I've got some time to myself. So we're going to play our, our Alpha Strike match. Um, I've kind of... I'm not cheating as such. Uh, I've kind of gone with some variants on the, um, uh, the wolf mechs to try and soften their blow. I just feel clan mechs are so punchy you know like <laughs> they just came out of the gate punching and I, I don't know i don't feel like anything's really come along to replace them like that you know and i, I get confused with rules and stuff and i think in alpha strike a lot of the special rules don't really translate across uh as nicely as they probably should but i like that i like that simple. What, are you, what are you doing what are you doing you inspecting my goods what are you doing anyway we better start this video <laughs> Let's have a look at the armies. Over to the table. So here we can see the uh, wolf army. I've got two more Koshis. Maybe we'll get a, a salvage Koshi out of this. Um, we've got two uh, shadow cats, two shadow cats, and two uh, black hawks. So um, I've picked different variants. Like I said, I, you know, kind of cheating. I've put it on easy mode for myself. The Koshis, this time around, are the Koshi A variant. Um, and so they're up close and personal mechs. They need to get nice and close. Uh, the Black Hawk is the C variant, um, which it's kind of the, the least punchy of them all. And the Shadow Hawk uh, is the J variant. Uh, so it's a striker. So we've got a, two scouts, two snipers, two strikers. And they will be going up against... Uh, because I've, you know, kind of dropped some of my punchiness, uh, I am going with my main lance, uh, with the Orion, the Cyclops, and the Hermes, and that Hermes that got damaged, we're going to replace with the Archer, just to give us a bit more firepower for this mission. The mission is a recon mission, and as we can see, uh, as per my silly cat jumping around everywhere, as per the... Recon instructions. We divided the table up. We got a two on our dice. So those orange dots are the recon things we need to scan. The scanning distance is a quarter of the shortest edge. So we do have to get quite, um, you know, that short edge is pretty short. So a quarter of that we have to get up fairly nicely. We've got two in the five slot here in building two. Um, we've got, uh, you know, airport 54 over here uh, with one. Uh, we've got one on the edge of the water and um you know one in each of these huts uh the um grassy sort of farm area i'm gonna say that as like terrain that slows movement um you know it's kind of soft terrain and these massive robots are gonna sink into it um what are you doing you crazy cat what are you doing He's in heightened security mode. <laughs> uh, water, as you can see, it's got two sections. You've got the light section and the, the dark section. Oh, he's off again. Off he goes. Don't mind the pile of clothes there. Whoa. Uh, we've got lots of forest, lots of terrain to kind of block line of sight. Um, as we s discovered last time we were playing, uh, anything that's more than six measuring units across actually blocks line of sight. Um, so that's a, that's a lot of blocking terrain there. I think we've got quite a good chance of scanning. We need to, as the good guys, we need to scan 66% out of these. We need to scan at least four. Um, and maybe we'll give ourselves like a bonus. Um, a bonus if we get all of them. What are you doing? You're a crazy cat. <laughs> I think he's chasing this ball. Yep, there you go. <laughs> anyway, you're not here to watch the cat. You're here to watch some Alpha Strike. So, uh, you know, maybe we should be doing Clan Spirit Cats instead of Clan Wolf. He does look a bit like a spirit cat, actually. 
<laughs> Without further ado, we will relocate our and our things on the table. I might try and relocate this cat, and then we'll. Okay, uh, so here is our deployment. I've um, put. I might move this over a touch so we can see. There we go. Uh, I've put a kochi here and a kochi up the back. Uh, we've got one. Uh, I've then kind of split the other two into like two sets: a uh, shadow hawk and a nova. Uh, sorry, uh, what are they called? Black hawk. I don't know, Shadowcat, Blackhawk, I'm getting confused, whatever. You can see the dice I rolled here, uh, the Marix are the white, we run one, the initiative, uh, but that means, you know me, I like to lose the initiative because then I can kind of move and shoot and stuff first, but um, there we go, that is that is how the, the cookie has crumbled, um, very straightforward, uh, we've kind of, I've tried to split them up in a way that kind of each... Each dot point is protected uh, with like an adequate number of, of things. Um, we are using centimeters as per usual here, just because my table is so small. And uh, we're going to do a big game with the now that the now that the uh, tanks are painted up. We're going to do a big game of um, Grim Dark Future. We might take it outside next time I get to make a video. And I will put two tables together, we'll get a nice big table. But for this game, we've got a small table, which means we've got a small, um, small centimeters for our measuring sticks. Uh, and a Koshi has a movement of 14 or 12 jump. So, um, what does the Koshi want to do? I think in this case, like they're all kind of in good defensive positions. I think the Koshi might come down here a bit and just, um, you know, he wants to get close because getting close is good for Akashi, uh, particularly this variant, which I don't know if you saw on the thing, only deals damage in the short range, which is under six inches. So that's our first movement. Uh, I might just move all these guys and then we'll um, we'll come back for the combat. Okay, so this is kind of how that played out. Uh, we had the Koshis come close. Uh, this guy activated and kind of hung out where he was, which allowed uh, allowed my Hermes to keep at least six centimeters of uh, <laughs> trees in there. Um, I know you can't see it. We'll just quickly jump around over here. Uh, the shadow, hawk, the shadow cats have come up. Uh, the the black hawk um, had weighed after the black hawk activated. The Orion moved up uh, and deliberately kept um, you know just enough space uh, to keep him in the long range, so he's not in the you know, most ideal shooting spot of that unit. Um, but that then sacrifices himself, you know, from being in a good spot to shoot. Uh, but there you go. The slowest wins, I believe. The lowest... Uh, just going to adjust this so it looks straight. Sorry, otherwise it's going to bug me. I believe in shooting the combat phase, the player with the lowest initiative acts first in the combat phase, but not instead of alternating, everything happens. So... Um, the Koshi is outside of its short range, so it can't really shoot anything, as is this Koshi. This, um, Black Hawk can... Oh, what is the full length? Is it 42? 42. So he's at long range. He can shoot the Cyclops if he wishes. He can't see anyone else. Uh, the Shadow Hawk can't see through the trees, uh, to the Cyclops. That Shadow Hawk can't see. This guy can shoot, but will be at long range. Um, so let's do that. They're wolves. They always shoot, right? That's my, that's my policy. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get started with the numbers here. You have to forgive me. It's been a couple of weeks since I played our last game. I know it looks like I just played them because I uploaded them the other day, but actually they were filmed like a couple of weeks ago and now we're at the Friday of like week three. So, um, you know, they were played on a Monday and this is a Friday. Here we are. Uh, their skill level for these guys is TMM 3. No, skill 4. See, if I read the right spot, I'll be right. Uh, the TMM of the Cyclops. Uh, just to clarify, we're having this shot on the Cyclops. That is um, that is what we're doing right now. The TMM is only a 1. He really probably needed some cover. <laughs> uh, so we've got 4, 5. Uh, and then we don't have any woods or anything in the way but we are at a long shot so that's a four uh long range is plus four and then when i look at this it's got a little 12 and what's the 12 mean plus four 
12. Artillery attacks have a minimum range. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, I see what it's saying. All right, so, uh, yeah, so we're at fives. Plus four is nine. Here we go. ka -chow. That is not a nine. That is an eight. So that shot misses. Um, and it will be exactly the same for the other black hawk over here. Let's actually adjust the camera so we can see what's going on. There we go. Uh, and let's zoom in. Take the angle a bit. There we go. Sorry about this. If I was a better cameraman, we'd be all right. Well, what's going on in my thing? There we go. Yeah. So this guy in the back here is shooting the Orion in the front here. Uh, the Orion has also a TMM of one. So here we go. Uh, so he'll need, what we say? Nines. Ciao. One is a three. One is a three. Put them so we can actually see them. And so that is a miss. And I think that's everyone. No one else can shoot. So happy days. Make, taking those uh, alternating units actually helped. What do you know? We might actually do our shooting since we've got that camera lined up now nicely. The Orion will shoot back. Um, he is all the same. Everything is the same, except what's the TMM of these guys? Uh, that thing is TMM2. So instead of nines, we need tens. That's not a ten. Happy days. Now, here's where the real strife begins. Ooh, zoom back out. Okay, adjust. Make it all line up a bit nicely. There we go. We have these three gents are going to... Well, these two are going to dogpile this guy. And this guy is... Oh, am I close enough to scan? So, oh, I didn't mention the scanning range is 15 because it's a 60 centimeter table. And that's 15. We are just in range to scan. So, maybe we'll start with the scanning first, since that's nice and easy. Uh, recon scan. If uh, playing a recon mission, attacking forces must begin and end the turn with scan distance of a key resource token. Oh, they have to begin. So, he has to begin and end his turn. He did not begin his turn. So, it looks like he can shoot at the Koshi as well. Well, that's a new and interesting development, but that's what we're going to do. Um, let's start with the Cyclops. Uh, and he will shoot the the koshi uh then the archer will shoot the koshi and then depending upon whether or not uh that koshi is dead this guy might shoot this koshi up here though he can't see him never mind he'll shoot this koshi too everyone's shooting the koshi here we go uh we will begin with a koshi's tmm is three these guys are now the cyclops are deliberately put in short range uh, medium range sorry um outside of short range so he will have plus two for that. His target skill base number is four. The TMM is, did I say three for Akashi? Yes. So we've got four and three is seven. Plus two is eight, nine. We need nines. That's not a nine. That's a bit disappointing. Um, the archer is, whoops, not inches, centimeters. He is all just inside. He's, if we go actually properly measure, he's, he's well inside. The medium range, so he has the same number. He needs nines. That'll do it. Uh, at medium range, an archer deals four damage to Mr. Koshi. Akoshi has three hit points. So that was a bit of overkill. <laughs> Where'd my text go? All right, that Koshi's dead. Boom, boom. First blood and first casualty of the game. Smoked. Very good. What was my salvage on this? Ah, oh, 25%. That's okay. We get, we'll say we get two mechs. If we, if we get, you know, two mech deads, we have two chances to have two mechs. Um, there we go. Uh, in that case, this guy really doesn't have anything to shoot at. So that's the end of turn one. Alrighty, we're up to turn two. Get some initiative happening. The red is the wolves again. I naughtily rolled the wolf dice for the... Merrick, uh, Merrick, guys, it looks like the wolves are getting angry, their friends down, so they'll be taking the initiative, they're going, they've, they've, well, it's funny, because like, they have the high number, they're taking the initiative, they won the initiative, but actually, they do everything last, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> How's that work? Uh, but there you go, the, the, the roles have switched, so, 
Um, what are we going to do now? That is a very good question. I think, well, the Hermes will activate and he'll stay there and stay exactly where he is. There's five mechs to three mechs to activate. So I have to activate two mechs now um, for the other guys. I think the Koshi, which has like a ridiculous speed, they're so fast um, with a 16 run. I think he is going to want to try and get... He knows this guy's trying to shoot, right? So and his job is to defend... So he might run right up here and, um, you know, get get up close and personal. Is he within the six? Yes, he is. Um, so he can he can actually do something to defend before he gets explodery node. Um, and the... I think that's also the plan of this Nova. What's the speed of a Nova? Nova is 10 with jump. Okay, is he going to jump? Yeah, he can jump. He might jump. He has to jump into that forest, I think. So, And in fact, I think the Koshi has to be in the forest too, otherwise they can't see him. So, we'll give him that extra, let him finish that extra bit of movement. Now, what are the next guys going to do? I think... These guys want to act as a bit of a unit. Um, he is going to, I think we'll get the Cyclops, who only has a movement of eight. So this is the other thing is, my guys are pretty slow compared to these other ones. He wants to keep himself in medium range. So that's where he is best at. So we want to somewhere be in here. So anywhere on this side of the lake is really fine. So he might move to, he might move to there. And that will give him the opportunity to scan this next time. Um, and, and that way we've got a bit of that. Now we need these guys to move. I've got two and they've got three. So do they move two or one? Again, I'm not... Um, there is a chart for this. <laughs> do I have that chart easily available? No. That's the one chart that's missing from this cheat sheet that we've got there. Uh, pretty sure it's just here yeah here we go so if we have three and they have two oh it's not even on there oh it's like three to six two to four well we don't have two to four so there we go um happy days we are doing what we're doing hopefully this is entertaining i don't know i'm i'm stoked to be playing a game i hope you are stoked also um we might move Yeah, they have to move one. So I think what they'll move is they'll move that shadow cat down. Um, I do like a shadow cat. 16 as well. Oh man, shadow cats are amazing. I remember playing shadow cat in um, like in MechWarrior 3. You could you start with a bushwhacker and then like your buddy comes along with shadow cat. And oh man, I just I love the shadow cat. Uh, it was so cool. We're going to move him to here. So he's a bit closer and ready to shoot. When that Orion pops his little head out from around the corner there. Uh, and I think we will move the Archer. So we kind of force them to move some more guys. And the Archer, of course. Let's have a look at what his range is. Medium or long. So he can be quite far away. Um, so we might do that. He only gets eight move. But um, we'll, we'll keep him sort of, you know... Put him on the road, so next time he can, like, scoot up that road. And he's fine to, to see that. Koshi. Yeah, my wife is in, um, the, in Adelaide. Um, doing a conference for Diabetes Council. She gets to present. Um, so it's a very exciting time for her. Um, now, where that Orion is right now... He can be shot at by two guys, but I think I think that's the safest spot. I think we don't want him being shot at by three guys because that would be too much. Or do we put him... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put him... He should be slowing down in the trees too. So we'll put him... So he's in the tree. Oh, he's a bit stuck. 
for for our purposes, he's in the tree. We, you, you, you know he's in the tree. I know he's in the trees. Just so he gets a bit of that defense, it opens him up to three people. But, um, yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, yeah. Anyway, about my wife. She, uh, my wife. <laughs> we have, like, this uh, five-year plan. She's going to be the doctorate and being the breadwinner. And I'm going to be... Um, just double-check that he also has... Oh, no, 10 jump. That's right, 10 jump. Uh, he might jump and get as close as possible to this guy as he can. There we go. Yeah, like, uh, we have, in fact, I have a picture of it right here before we cut the camera. There you go. That's our five-year plan. <laughs> we saw that meme. We printed it out. She's going to be the doctorate, uh, you know, going to all these conferences. And my plan is to be um, a stay-at-home author and YouTuber, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I'm going to cut this and get a nice angle, and we will do our attack. Look at that right there. What a beautiful thumbnail shot that's going to be. So, our um, our medium... I say our medium. Our initiative... We, we lost the initiative is what the words that I'm trying to get out of my fat gob. Um, I'm just looking for my dice here. Uh, so, that means we get to do all our shooting first this time. Uh, happy days. So, we will start with the... The Hermes wants to scan. That's his goal, is scan, 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 scan. So what does he have to do to scan? Uh, he starts and he has to begin and end his turn in range of the scan. So, while scanning a unit may not shoot. The unit may only scan a single token that turn. So he is scanning this turn. That is his shooting action. Uh, the Cyclops is going to... What's the Cyclops' damage for? Okay, so if the Cyclops hits... Um, he will actually get the Koshi dead, which will give the, um, or oh, the archer. I don't think, I think there's more than six centimeters between the edge of the archer and the, oh, there is. Okay. Is there more between the Cyclops? Okay. So the Cyclops can actually hit the Nova if the, like he has... He, he has less, just because of the angles of the shape of this, like, jelly bean-shaped um, woods. He has the angle to um, actually see that. So what we might do is we'll do the archer on the Koshi first, who definitely has enough space to see that. And then um, if the Koshi is alive, the Cyclops will shoot it. If the Koshi is dead, the Cyclops will shoot the Nova. That's the plan. I'm pretty sure you can declare stuff like that, right? I don't know. If you were meant to declare everything and it just be that way, um, please correct me in the comments. But my understanding is we can we can do that. The archer on the Koshi is... I think we said he's definitely medium range, right? He's not, not more than 24. So, uh, Koshi has three TMM. He has four. That's a seven. Plus two is nine. Plus, does actually standing in the woods give you a bonus? Now it has intervening or occupied wood strain. So it's just a plus one. So uh, that means tens. Tens and up. Here we go. Oh, that's annoying. So the archer misses the Koshi, which means the Cyclops is going to go for the Koshi. He will have the same uh, numbers. Oh my gosh. These are the Marek dice that hate Marek, Marek mechs. Just out of curiosity. Had I rolled with the red, nah, okay. It wasn't meant to be. That Koshi lives. Um, yeah, brutal. Rude. Absolutely rude. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. All right, let's move around here. To, I'll, I'll set this up. There you go. That's not a terrible angle. Uh, I fixed the Orion up so he's actually in the forest. <laughs> in the forest edge there. Um, yeah, okay, so, the Orion, he's going to take a shot at the Shadow Hawk, uh, Shadow Cat, um, that is closest to him, I guess, is the plan, uh, and, oh, actually, what are their distances, because that could impact it, because the, what's the, what's the Orion's deal? He wants to be in medium range, so... The, the most medium-ranged mech. They're both in medium range for now. So that's not terrible. 
All right, here's a four, um, plus a shadow hawk. So I'm guessing it's going to be three. Yep, look at that. Three for all of them, except for the Nova. The Nova actually is easier to hit, so I probably should have done that. But anyway, whatever. Shadow cat, uh, three and four is seven, and two for distance. Uh, and because he's standing on the edge, there is no, um, you know, like the line of sight starts on the outside, right? That's one of the things that is great about Battletech is the line of sight starts like in the next hex is my understanding. So there is no woods for him, but there will be woods for them is the plan. Uh, which means, what did I say we need? 10, right? Or nine. Four plus three plus two. Four plus five is nine. Yeah, there we go. So he'll be nines. There'll be tens when they shoot. Bam. All right. That is not... Uh, oh, man. These Marricks. They're killing me. <laughs> they're killing me. <laughs> all right. That's all my shooting phase for the Marricks. Let's do the Wolves. Let's switch over to the Red Dice for the Wolves. So, uh, as we said, they will have ten for... Oh, wait. Hang on. What's the TMM of a... No. They're going to have easier time because his TMM's one. So they only need eights. Here we go. Eights. Is that right? Let's double check that. He rolled a five, not that it matters, but so it's like a three, a four plus three, four plus one is five, uh, plus two for the range is seven, plus one, yeah, eights. That's right. So uh, the other Shadow Hawk, uh, Shadow Cat, same, same. Ah, oh, so the sh that Shadow Cat hits. He does at medium range three damage to my Orion. One, two, three. Very good. So he still has four and then all his internals. So that's good news. Uh, and the Nova, um, he... I'm just double-checking the Nova. I haven't done anything fancy. He's going to do three damage if he hits, but he does not hit. He sh burns some trees. So that is the shooting of that guy. Now, do these guys... Can they see my scanny guy? Oh, speaking of which, I should pick up the scanning token, which I will in a minute. Oh, he has to end the turn there, so he has to not get blown up. So, let's um, let's see that measurement. Yeah, he can. They can both see. All right. So the Koshi. Now, is it plus one per per square of? Tree, or is it just plus one in general? Sorry, folks. Learning the rules this is a part of it. Because, you know, if it's plus one per tree, we might be in a bit of trouble. Some of our shots before might not have hit. <gasps> anyway, what does it say? Woods. Woods, woods, woods. Oh, that's about cover. That's not what we want to know. Roll to hit the train features. I don't know. I'll look it up later. We'll just say it's plus one in general uh, for that. So they have a... Move it down a bit so it's a bit more centralized. They have a skill of four. His Hermes' skill uh, TMM is only two. Oh, wow. The Hermes is only two. Right. Good to know. Uh, so that's... See, this. I think this is my problem with it. Like, it feels like... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're just like, if it's a medium, it gets two. And if it's big, it gets like one. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like... Maybe it's because I'm using the lighter clan mechs that it's making them harder to hit. <laughs> I'm hamstringing myself. Um, what was I saying? So four plus two uh, plus one for standing in the thing. Plus they're in short so they don't have anything else. So that's that's it. That's it. It's four plus... Two plus one, sevens. Here we go. The Koshi. Uh, that's definitely a seven, uh, which deals Koshis at short range. This particular Koshi, which it only deals one damage at short range. It must just have like a single machine gun. I don't know. It's the A. I'll have to look this up, what it has. Maybe I'll do that in the next cut. Uh, Hermes, take one damage. The uh, Black Hawk. Oh, thank you to that terrain feature intervening <laughs> six instead of a seven. Also, he jumped. I think there's like actually jumping add 
yeah, so if you jump, that adds two to your ability to hit. So he, he misses. Um, which, actually, the other guy jumped. I don't know. I think he missed to the Blackhawk. Because I'm pretty sure it was the uh, Shadow Cat that hit me before. But there you go. They've all shot. The damage has been dealt. The turn ends with me claiming my first scanner marker. Maybe I need to just focus on scanning and forget shooting these chumps out of the water. I really want to shoot them out of the water because I'm like, hey man, I want um, <laughs> I want the salvage, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We only get four, like we only get two salvage, two mech salvage if uh, we actually kill more than four guys, right? Five or more. So, yep. Anyway, turn three. <laughs> Here we are with the initiative roll for turn three. Uh, and, ooh, what's that? That's seven, eight, and eight. We have to re-roll. Oh, wait. Five and two. Was it five and two? It's seven. Whatever. I picked them up. I'm going to re-roll because I'm an idiot. Three. The camera will tell if I'm cheating or not. There you go. So the red wolves have three, and the Marex have much more than three. <laughs> Brain math goodly. Quick maths, quick maths. Uh, yeah, okay, that means the wolves move first. So uh, we'll do the movement and we'll get back to you. Alrighty, after a bit of back and forth, this is what our situation looks like. I'm just going to zoom in a bit since we don't need to see, I guess, the whole battlefield there. Um, so it was kind of a bit of back and forth. Um, we ended up with... Um, sort of the position where these guys decided to swarm around Mr. Orion here uh, with the the Black Hawk trying to get, um, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a rear arc on him. Um, the Cyclops and the Archer are making their way around here. The Koshi's going to go for the Cyclops and see if he can deal a bit of damage. Um, and then the Hermes thought he'd move out and <laughs> take a rear arc on the... Uh, on the Koshi, uh, but also making his way to that northern so we can have a chance of actually winning this mission um, by scanning it. The Hermes is going to you know, be like Hermes, the god, and zip around. It's funny that the Hermes, I guess in 3025 when the Hermes first comes out, 12 is pretty fast, I guess, for a medium mech. But, like, yeah, it just feels really slow when you've got these... So, like, the clans, they're just good at everything. They're such Mary Sues of the Battletech universe, you know? <laughs> they're just good at everything. Oh, I was going to use the Archer on the road. I forgot. I'm a stupid idiot. Anyway, there you go. So, we've got these two guys are within um, scanning distance of this, though. So, depending upon how things go, um, I will have to choose one of those to, to scan stuff in. Actually, let's have a look at what, how the ranges have ended up. So he is just in medium range. He's in short range, obviously. Uh, he is in... He is able to see this guy, and he's in medium range of that. Uh, this guy cannot see the Orion. This guy can, though. Uh, and the Orion, obviously, is he in short range? <sighs> He is in medium range for that guy, but short range for this one, I think. Yeah. I've got like a... Um... Yeah, he's in short range for... Oh, wait. It's not short because it's six, isn't it? For short. These... Look, this is insane. Whoever made Battle to Like Alpha Strike B range brackets... Or, like I appreciate that they made everything just have its own range bracket. I do appreciate that. But like 6, 24, 42... Like, that is annoying. You know what I mean? Like, make it double. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's fine. But don't make it like, yeah, oh, man. Just that does my head in. <laughs> in that case, he's not in short range. He's in medium range. So there you go. Um, but there we go. That's how I ended up. Let's do the wolves get to shoot first. So let's uh, take a nicer shot of that. All right, so the Koshi ran, not that it matters in this game. Uh, three, so your four for his skill level, the TMM of a Cyclops is only a one. Um, it's short range, so that's fives he needs to hit. However will he make a five? There you go. He did a five. <laughs> one damage to the, the Cyclops. Boom. Uh, there you go. Uh, the, can that guy actually shoot? He can. We said that's outside of that. Yeah, okay, so he can, 
he might take a shot at the archer while we're here and that he can actually see people Blacklock is four. The archer is has a TMM of I'm guessing a one. Yep, and it is medium distance, so plus two. So we said four. One is five. Medium distance is six, seven. Plus a lot of trees is one. So we need eight. That's not an eight. Double six is not an eight. Uh, so that's his shot off. Let's uh, scootly boot over to the forest. I might have to. Makes that thing longer. There we go. Look at me moving stuff on the fly. What a terrible host I should be. Uh, you know, I should be being a better host to you guys. All right, let's start with the rear arc. We get plus one damage in the rear arc, as we have seen. Um, three for the Koshi. The Orion has a TMM of one. Uh, plus, there's one for the thing in the back, and it is in short range. So he will be doing three damage if he hits. Uh, and we said uh, four and one is five and one is six. He needs sixes. Here we go. Sixes. Oh, that five looks scary. Oh, no. Okay. So three in the rear. Three in the butt. Oh, no. At least we are still in armor. We have one armor left. One armor left. Oh my gosh. Alright. I don't think we're going to survive this one, Orion. We might have lost ourselves in Orion. Uh, this time it's the same. Or is it medium distance? What did we just say? Yeah, it's medium because it's, you know. <laughs> Short is six and that's really brain wrecking for me. So they're both at medium. So what we said before, six. So they need seven, eight. Here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? The wolves. Uh, so that's this guy. Look, we'll just do them both while we're here, eh? Okay, so only one of them hits. That was a, a six. Six, yeah, you see it? Cool. I should have rolled on the other side of the rock. All right. So a uh, shadow cat at medium range is three damage. All right, we got to roll some internals for our Ryan. He does have case. I don't know what case does, um, but there we go. Let's see what we have here. So... Rolling, determining critical hits. That's right. It's just a 2d6, and we want whatever numbers we can get. So here we go. So one 2d6. Here we go. Ciao. It's a 7. What is a 7? That sounds bad. Uh, MP hit. Movement point hit. So he's not very active. Half movement each. What? So he goes from having an 8 to a 4. That's quite crippling, actually. <laughs> he can't even run away. He's going to die. <laughs> oh, no, the Orion's going to die. Um, let's do his shooting, then, if he's here, before he gets blown up. <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, I better check what case. I think case just prevents, like, uh, ammo explosion. I'm guessing, if I had to guess, that is what I would guess. Right? That's what makes sense to me. Case, units with this ability can minimize the catastrophic effects of ammunition explosion, thus survive ammo hit criticals, uh, but will still suffer additional damage. Okay, there you go. So, uh, he is going to shoot. Now, he didn't really move or anything. Not that it matters in this game. I keep saying that. He's going to shoot the, um, the shadow cat that he shot before. Did he shoot a shadow cat before? No, he missed. Um, so... He has four. The Shadow Cat's TMM is three. That's a seven. There's no woods because he's standing on the edge of it. And we said it's medium range, so plus two. So it's nines. Here we go, nines. I'm going to use the wolf dice for him too. Oh, are you kidding me? He misses. Rude. That TMM is brutal. That's what I get for taking big guys against little guys. Uh, that is the end of his shooting. Let's come over to this much more exciting um shooting phase here so uh we'll start with the hermes who's going to shoot the koshi in the bum bum uh he is in short range does does the hermes want to be in short range oh it doesn't matter for him that's okay 
Uh, he, the, the Koshi has a TMM of three, so we, four is sevens. Uh, and that's it. That's all we have to worry about. Sevens. Here we go. Uh, is that a seven? That's exactly a seven. Woo. And in the bum bum gives him an extra damage. So that's going to give him as a Hermes. He does two with that one extra damage. He blows up a Koshi. Yay. We did it. We did it, Reddit. We blow up the Koshi. We did it. There you go. Give him a little smokestack. The water's on fire. There you go. Oh my gosh, you saved the day. You saved the day, Mr. Hermes. You saved the day. Um, all right. Now, I'm just having a look at my choices. Who does more damage? They both do about the same. Um, who is closer? He, they are both in medium range. Which one has more? He has less trees. Oh, you can't see because of the tree. No, you can see. We said he can see. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's because he starts outside the hex. Oh, no, he can see. He can. All right. What we're going to do is he, the Cyclops, is going to shoot at this, this Goomba. This guy is going to scan the token. Um, that's how he's spending his shooting action. So the Cyclops has a four. The Black Hawk has a TMM of two. So that's a six. Plus one for standing in some trees. Uh, so, uh, and plus two for medium range. So we said, is that, is that right? Four plus two is six. Plus two is eight. Plus one is nines. Here we go, nines. Oh, that's just rude. That's so rude. <laughs> Screw you, hippie. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh, so rude! Bloody dice betraying me. I am forsaken. I am forsaken as we go into turn four. Uh, but that also means we get this, uh, this tokeny token. Woo! All right. So the state of play, starting turn four, is we've got poor Mister Orion, who's a little bit crippled and uh, <laughs> it's going to struggle because he's in the woods. That's only a two two centimeter movement too. It's going to take him a long time. But I guess the good thing is he can kind of, you know, make his way through. These wolves are going to hunt him down, though, I think, is, is what's happening there. Um, and we've got two Koshis, so that's good. We'll at least get one Koshi um, salvage, at the very least. Uh, I don't know why my camera's gone all... It's gone, like, all glossy. What's happened there? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a Days of Our Lives episode all of a sudden. I think it's just the light. Like, we're at that point in time where the light is kind of weird in the day uh, in, in my front room. Uh, yeah, we've got two. So we need to get two more tokens, which is very doable um, if we spend this turn focusing on getting tokens instead of focusing on destroying bad guys. I think... Either way, if if we get to if we Marix roll lowest and get to do our shooting first, uh, I think uh, that we will focus on shooting stuff. But if we get to go high, like if we roll highest, we're gonna go for the the tokeny things. Yep, that's the plan. Look at my little pen puppet. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Red for wolves, white for Marix. Oh, okay, well, that, the good news is we are lower, um, so that's that's good, um, which means we can do our first movements. So I think the goal here is we got to move the Orion in, get him like with as much blocking terrain as possible. Not that it matters because these mechs are so fast. Oh my god, they're so fast. Uh, and then we want to get, um, the Hermes is going to go up and get as many tokens as he can get, as is the Cyclops, I think, whilst still keeping distance. And the Archer is just going to, I guess, do some fire support where possible. It'd be cool if we could get the Archer. Does the Archer, I'm guessing the Archer does not have jump jets, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> so if we could get the Archer in a bit more of a higher position so that he could see... That might have been nice. But anyway, that's the plan. We'll take the turns and I'll be back. 
Okay, we have ended up with a very interesting situation. So, the Orion moved backwards, and um, that has kind of, you know, forced all these guys to actually encroach in. Um, and uh, the Hermes has positioned himself up the back here, um, where, you know, kind of, he we've realized he is getting a rear arc shot on Mr. Blackhawk, which is... Um, pretty good for him, you know, whatever, doesn't matter too much. Um, but the Shadowcat has realized that no one was shooting, uh, you know, if he chased in, you know, it's a waste of his resources. <laughs> so we've now kind of got this one Shadowcat, uh, who after some maneuvering, uh, the Archer has a clean line of sight too in medium and long range. Is it long range or medium range? Let's have a look. It is going to be medium range, right? Is that right? Because it goes to 42? Or is it long range? It's long range. Yeah, it's just in long range. So, the archer can take some cracks at, um, at that guy, right? And the archers are okay at long range. Obviously, my dice are not okay at long range, but we'll see how we go. Um, the cyclops can also do that. We also realized we did not start our turn in... Um, in close enough proximity. So it doesn't matter. Next turn is the turn where we can collect these tokens. Um, but the other problem will be, like, we don't want to get too far in because then we have to get back off the board, right? <laughs> Before we get killed, we have to return back off this road down here in this where this pen is. So, um, you know, that's not a problem for the Hermes, I don't think, but these other big ones, it is, especially if they have their themselves any kind of damage much like mr orion does but that's our that's our movement back and forth we're on turn five we're on turn five right turn five so here we go um the orion oh my gosh what can the orion do <laughs> uh aside from prey uh the problem is he's best at medium range but he cannot see anyone at medium range because beyond the six um, you know, it's a bit of a drama. Short range, he's still doing four damage. Um, and I do believe one of these things is damaged, is it not? Or did we miss? We must have missed. Oh dear, that is sad. But the Shadow Cat will be, if we hit a Shadow Cat, it will be into structural damage. If we do that, if we hit a Black Hawk. Now, the Black Hawk activated before the Orion moved. The Black Hawk is not visible. That's some pressure off. <laughs> oh, this Black Hawk here. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, no. We want to hit the Shadow Cat. We're going to go for the Shadow Cat. Here we go. I'm going to use my white dice, even though I know they're going to betray me. Um, I need a... 7, 8. I need an 8. Watch these dice betray me. Scumbags! They knew it too. They're like, haha, we're going to give it to you. Minus one. So rude. So rude. Anyway, goodbye, Orion. I like the Orion mech. It's one of my favorites, but I don't think we're going to see that. One of the things we do need to work on, though, is um, working out, uh, like, you know, buying new mechs every week. I think, like, you know, what options are going to be available to us. Maybe we need to generate a marketplace generator, which I will do in the not-too-distant future. We, you don't care about that. You don't care about that at all. I am going to start with the Archer. Uh, Counterintuitively to my left-to-right strategies. The Archer, as we said, is at long range. Um, and he has a four, he has a three... There's another four, so already we're looking at 11s. 11s. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, what do you know? That Shadow Cat is going to take uh, an Archer at full range. Is four damage, which knocks... Now, I haven't actually marked a um, structure just yet. Uh, you know what I mean? So it does not get a critical hit, but it has no armor left, which is good news. <laughs> so do I finish off a Shadow Cat, guaranteed finishing it off, or do I try to be cheeky 
and rear arc this guy and try and sh finish him off with my with my Cyclops. Let's start with the Hermes. I think the Hermes is going to do the rear arc anyway, regardless. A Cyclops would do four damage to a Black Hawk, but that's not enough to break through armor. So, um, how about we do... Actually, the Cyclops does have a rear arc on him too. So, how about we do the Cyclops first, and that will be enough to put him at structures and then if he if the cyclops hits the hermes will hit if the cyclops misses the hermes will shoot the shadow cat that's the plan here we go the cyclops has a four the black hawk has only a two so it's actually better to shoot the black hawk um because it's easier but then he gets the plus one for being in the terrain um which gives us the seven plus two for being medium range which is eight nine here we go nines from the cyclops Rude, that's just rude. Dice, why do you do this to me? Uh, so Hermes is going to crack at the um, at the Shadowhawk, which will be enough to get uh, a Shadow Cat, sorry, which will be enough to kill it. Uh, the Shadow Cat, it's the same because he doesn't have terrain, but he does have uh, plus one of the thing. Here we go. That's also not a nine. Pew, pew, pew. We have wasted all our shots. Time for the Wolf's Revenge. Um, the Shadow Cat is going to shoot. He's going to have a crack at the Archer just because, you know, Wolves, they're angry. Hey, you hit me, I'm going to hit you. I know that's not like the smartest move for the Wolf, but you know what? We're playing NPCs. So I'm going to switch out to my red dice. <gasps> he has a skill of four. The Archer has a TMM of one. So that's a five and it's long range, which is plus four. So we're looking at nines. Here we go. That's not a nine. Pew pew. He misses. There we go. Happy days. Let's get in close on the uh, on the scrub fight. Okay, so we've got a black hawk uh, who has a stat of four. We've got a, a, what is he? An Orion with a TMM of one. So that's fives plus one for standing in the forest. Short range. Here we go. We need fives. Can we actually see anywhere where I'm going to roll the dice? Maybe I need to step back a bit. <laughs> Just so we can see. That's a five. That's going to do some damage. We'll also do the Shadow Cat while we're here. He also needs a five. That is a five. Doesn't matter what I get on that dice because the other one is a four. So, uh, there we go. The Orion is about to take two lots of damage. Uh, he takes two from the Black Hawk. Uh, one, two, and we've got to roll a critical hit. Eight on the critical hit table is weapon critical hit. Minus one damage each. And um, the Shadow Cat is going to do three at short range, which is enough to kill the Orion. The Orion goes down in flames. That's a very sad day for me. R.I.P. Orion. A big smoking crater in the middle of the forest. Now, if I were better at rules and didn't want to make this video, you know, wanted to make this video much longer, we could do like fire spreading and stuff like that. Uh, but we are not going to do that. Because, there you go, that's what the plan is. Let's move on to the sad, sad, sad turn six. <laughs> okay, so this is what turn six is looking like. Lots of fire everywhere. I've run out of fire markers too, so uh, if any more mechs die, there's no more smoke for them. I'll have to buy some red wool and stuff and make some more. Um, yeah, wow, man. Like, uh, things are not going well for the mechs. <laughs> We've lost our, our big commander the Orion, uh, and I think, uh, yeah, who knows? They're all about to turn on us. I don't think this is going to go well. Hopefully we can get rid of that Shadow Cat this turn, um, and the the other guys can do what they need to do in terms of scanning. Uh, but I think our strategy here relies on the fact we just have to start and end our turn in that range of scanning range. We don't, we don't have to stand still. We can move. So... I think that's the plan, is we're going to get out of dodge for the most part. We're going to try and clear up this Shadow Cat, even though we had a great opportunity to blow up a Black Hawk and absolutely missed. Uh, you know, that is that is where we're at. 
And uh, the dice have just betrayed us. That's all it is. The dice keep betraying us. But like we're we're trying to get big numbers, you know. And I think that is the that is the thing for me. Like I feel like far more often the clan mechs are like, "Hey man, I need a five. And far more often I'm like, "Hey man, I need an eleven. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it feels really uh, unbalanced in that sense. But I know that's because it's little mechs punching up against big mechs. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe in future I need just a ton of little mechs going up against, like, a big mech. Um, you know, like, that might be the way we get some valuable big mechs under our belt. I don't know. I just feel like this Merrick Militia thing, like, it looks like, you know, I'm not giving up yet, but it looks like three out of four battles is going to be a loss. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway... Playing the mission. We're on turn six. Here we go. Here's our initiative. We have a seven for the wolves, and we have a seven for the... It's definitely a seven. Let's go again. We have a nine for the Marricks, and the wolves are still at seven. So the wolves will be moving and shooting first, uh, and they're, they're on the aggressive warpath now. We're in big trouble. Big trouble in little tiny boardville. I don't know what this... I don't know what this board, what this wolf town is. Uh, it's not a bad town, actually. Not a bad town. This would be cool for like a role play for BattleTech, a little base base situation. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's do some movement, and I'll get back to you once that's done. All right, this is what the state of the board looks like uh, after this. These two shadow cats are chasing after Mr. Cyclops, who has run away to try and get the marker back there. Uh, Hermes decided to hide behind the building. <laughs> uh, and that conveniently means that no one had a line of sight to him. So the uh, Blackhawk that was in here is trying to make his way, like, flank around and get him. And this Blackhawk, who was originally going to try to go for him, uh, didn't have enough room to get anywhere where he could see him. So instead decided he'd come down here to try and block off this exit and, and take on the Archer. The Archer has moved back down here um, a little bit. Uh, with the intention of keeping his distance from this Shadowhawk, which is the damaged one. Uh, it's got kind of a more black paint job, um, whereas that one's kind of a bit more of a bony paint job. Uh, he's he's going to try to continue his attack on him, I think, is, is the plan. But the, um, the wolves get to shoot first. So we might start with this guy here. Now, he jumped his 10, so he didn't have to take penalties for being in the forest. He is at medium range. Um, what does jumping add to our numbers? It adds plus 2. Plus 2 for medium range. That brings us to 8. So the TMM of an archer is no doubt 1. Uh, yep. So, we're at 9s. He's going to try and shoot 9s. Ciao. Oh, gets a double 10. Man, brutal. These dice hate me. <laughs> Why? Why do you hate me so much? Uh, the Black Hawk at medium range does three damage. And the Archer is going to take three damage. He still has four plus his internals. Um, that's his deal. These guys are going to shoot at the thing. The black one definitely has a clean line of sight, but the white one will have to go through forest. So, the, they're both at medium range, though. So, uh, they did not jump. They just ran. So, that's not a big deal. Four plus the team member of uh, Cyclops is a one. Because it's an assault mech, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and uh, so, it's going to be four plus two is six plus one is seven plus the white one is going to be eight. So first one is the six. Uh, sorry, is the seven. Ah, oh, rude. Uh, and the second one, which needs eights. Yay, it does not hit. Happy days. All right, so the first one does at medium range. Shadow Cat does three damage, which is a big chunk, man. Shadow Cat's a pretty brutal. They have the Gauss Rifle, that's why. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just a bit dejected. Oh, I've already had some damage. Oh, no. Um, from that stupid little Koshi. <laughs> I've got one hit, one hit point of armor left on my Cyclops. So good thing they missed. Those trees helped us out in the end. Uh, that's the shooting phase for the wolves because this guy can't really see anyone. He's just in the middle of nowhere. Unfortunately for him, uh, we'll start with the Cyclops is going to be scanning. Um... 
What is that? Let's start with the archer. The archer is going to destroy this stupid shadow cat. If the shadow cat is destroyed, the cyclops will scan the thing. If the shadow cat is not destroyed, the cyclops will do will shoot the the shadow cat. That's the plan. Um, the archer is at long range, which is plus four already, so we're at eights. Um, the team have three, so we're at elevens. I mean, what do you want from me, guys? <laughs> what, what, what more can I do against such arbitrary garbage? There you go, we missed. So the cyclops, he's in medium range. Uh, he fours, threes, is sevens. Medium range is two. So we're looking at nines. Is that right? Seven plus two is nine. Here we go. Can you see that? Can you see that? Betrayal? Those dice betraying me! He missed by a one. Can you believe it? He missed by a one! He missed by a one! God damn you, dice! Burn in hell! They are betrayal dice, man. Ah. Oh. I feel so dejected by these shitty dice that keep missing by one. What can I do against such arbitrary hatred? Oh, what can I do? I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my cyclops as well, I think. Damn son! That's what I get for being greedy. Trying to fight a battle against wolves. You can't beat clans. After this, we're just we're not fighting any claners. Clans can go stick it up the jacksy. Okay, here is how we have played out. You probably can't see Mr. Um, Hermes hiding behind here, but rest assured there he is. <laughs> he is within uh, scanning distance of both this target and this target. Um, so he can scan either one of those. The shadow cat over here decided he was going to come and, and pay him a visit. The cyclops has moved so that he is a little bit closer this way and has a nice clean line of sight to a few things. Um, but he is still within 15 of this, so he can still scan this. This is the damaged shadow cat um, that has only internal structure left. This guy has jumped up here. This guy has jumped over there. Uh, well, he jumped over there first, and then the Hermes ran around. Um, and then this guy ran around and kind of, you know, we've had a Benny Hill show going on. That is the plan. The archer moved back just enough to get on the road so he can double his movement if he needs to leg it at the end. And he's like our, you know, he's going to take the scan data and escape. He's the, uh, you know, the flight of the Eisenstein over here. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but that is how that has played out. Uh, and the wolves get to shoot first. So... Uh, without further ado, let's get some wolf shooting. Okay, I was going to zoom in a bit closer, but if I do that, I won't have anywhere to roll my dice. <laughs> Shadowcat ran, the Hermes ran, the Hermes has a TMM of, see, I keep saying it, because in Battletech, like, the distance they ran matters, you know what I mean? And what mode of movement they do matters. The Hermes is a TMM too, which annoys the shit out of me, because I thought the Hermes and the Shadowcat were the same weight class. But apparently, that's not the case. So if that is the case, why the hell does the Shadow Cat get a 3 and he gets a 2? I don't know. They're both the same size. Why is 1 a 3 and 1 a 2? It does not make sense to me. I do not understand it. Why is he not a 3 just like the Shadow Cat? If you know, give me the answer in the comments. It's driving me mental. So he has a 2. He's actually standing in the forest. He's actually scooted behind that tree. So he gets a plus 1 for that. So he's got 2 plus 1. Uh, plus uh, the four of the other guys, so that's a seven. And then, because he's actually behind the tree, he is just out of short range. So he's a medium range, which is, uh, what would we say? Four and three, seven, uh, nines. Here we go, nines. Where can we see? Let's roll over here. Oh, that one's cocky, but we'll do it anyway. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so rude. <laughs> I re-rolled on good faith because it was cocky and I was like, that's yeah, a three. It's probably not going to hit. I, I, see, guys, this is why I don't play games anymore. <laughs> the dice hate me. The dice hate me. Hermes, you're taking three damage, my friend. Ah, oh, just so rude. And you know what? That's enough to... So he's now in the same situation as the other Shadow Cat. He has no armor, but he has not received an internal damage yet, so no critical hit just yet. Ah, oh. Man. 
<laughs> I was so stoked to play this game. I thought we were going to have a good time. I thought we were going to have a good time, guys. What's this bullshit? <laughs> All right, let's zoom out. Okay, here we go. Um, right, this knob is going to shoot this guy, the archer. Watch him get some kind of critical headshot or some garbage. <laughs> Uh, he is going to be in medium range. Not enough for long range. He is in medium range. Um, the Archer has a team member of one. There's like bugger all in there. So we've got a three and a four is a seven. Yeah, here we go. Of course. <laughs> You're going to take three damage. I feel like Oprah, you take three damage and you take three damage. And you take three damage now. Three is not enough. He's still got one piece of armor, so we're okay. In terms of that, uh, the this gentleman... No, what's happened here? I'm a bit wonky. Excuse me. This uh, gentleman's going to have his shot. Now, he jumps, so we're adding two to that. I'm pretty sure he's in medium range as well, which he is. So, uh, what did we just need? I can't even remember. I'm just so sad. <laughs> Four plus one plus two is seven plus another two is nine. I I will take that pity snake eyes. <laughs> the dice are pitying me because I'm getting butt hurt about it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's do some Maricky things. Uh, uh, I guess <laughs> the archer is going to um, shoot the the shadow cat, hopefully killing it. Though it's not going to because my dice hate me. Shadow cat is uh, tier member three is sevens plus two is nines. I need nines, 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 nines. We just take a minute to appreciate the fact that, like, the percentage of dice that have missed by one in this game is statistically high, okay? <laughs> if you're doing a maths probability research doctorate, please use my videos as evidence that I have a statistically high number of dice that are rolling one under the number they are needed again and again and again and again and again thank you <laughs> uh, what am i gonna do look i'm tired of being greedy this guy's gonna scan this this guy's gonna scan that we're gonna end the turn we have achieved the minimum required to succeed at this mission. We're going to bugger off off the table, starting with turn eight. Uh, see you in the next turn. All right, the state of play, turn eight. Uh, I'm just going to get the hell out of Dodge. We've scanned what we need to. We don't need to scan building 54 over there. We can leave building 54 alone. That is a Studio 54 reference, by the way, if you were interested in that joke. That's, that's why it existed. Marek want to lose the initiative so we can move first and get the out of here. So here we go. Uh, we lost by one. So I guess thanks, Dice. Uh, and let's just do as much of the movement as we can now. We're on a road, so we get to double our movement, I believe. I'm just going to double check that. Is that a thing? That is a thing, right? If you're on the move, if you're on the road, you can double your movement. Or is that just wheeled vehicles and stuff? Really quickly, let's look that up. Blah, blah, blah. Water, jumping. I don't want water and jumping. I want the road. I want the road rules. The rules for the road. Terrain rules as a road. Where are the rules for roads? Why are they not here? Why is everything... This book is hot dog shit. Just so you know. Like, everything is in such a weird spot. Like, nothing is where it's meant to be. It's such a stupid thing. Moving on a paved is identical as moving through clear terrain with a few advantages applied primarily to ground units. For starters, all ground units travel exclusively on roads for the entire movement. Pay only one inch of movement per inch traveled. 
plus the terrain cost of any level changes. This means that even if the road passes through wood terrain, blah, blah, blah. In addition, ground vehicles with wheeled or tracked, so they get to do two. So it's only wheeled vehicles. So all that me moving back was for nothing. What a waste of my bloody time. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> See you later. There we go. We're uh, making our way downtown. Well, I'm throwing my camera around. Don't mind me. We still got a little bit to go is the reason why I was reaching for the camera. Oh, my gosh. What's happened here? Oh, my gosh. My camera's gone awry. Uh, yeah. My camera has gone awry. What is going on with this camera? What's happened now? Everything's going wrong, everybody. All right. I'm just gonna uh, this guy's just going to activate. He is in the prime position to deal with what he needs to deal with. Um, that's, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> uh, the Hermes is going to get the hell out of Dodge with his 12 movement. Uh, though he is in, uh, a thing. So it's going to take his two inches to get out of the woods. He's going to get to there. Right. Um, this guy is going to be smart and just like take a rear shot at him as he runs. He's probably going to get shot in the back. It's going to be like that scene in Platoon. Uh, and the, they have four and I have two. So that means they have to move two. This guy's just going to 10 jump over here so he can shoot at people as they run past. This guy is going to, he only has an eight movement. He has to come off this edge. He's going to be smart though. He's not going to just, this is why Cyclops is command unit, right? He's a clever dude. He is going to go that way. So that that way he, um, you know, doesn't get shot as he runs by. He's got some blocking terrain. This guy's just going to activate and stand there because he's happy, happy chappy where he is. Um, yep, there you go. That's the plan. Uh, we'll move into shooting. In fact, we might as well start our shooting now. Uh, everyone's moved. Everyone's moved. Yep, okay, so shooting now, the, this guy is going to shoot this shadow cat in the back and try to kill it, though we know that the dice hate me, so they are definitely not going to kill this guy. Uh, he is in medium range. <sighs> Four plus three plus two plus one is nines. Here we go, let's move this out of the way. Bam, that's not a nine, as we knew it would not be. Uh, this guy is going to shoot... He's also going to be in medium range, almost certainly, which he is. Nines. Yay, what do you know? We finally shoot this stupid thing. It only took us six turns. Six turns! Uh, Archer. At medium range, does four damage, which means we will destroy the Shadow Cat. Yay, finally. He blows up. He's dead. -de -de Yay. De -de 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 dead. I'm loving it. Cyclops does have indirect... Oh, no, he doesn't. Never mind. Yeah, he does. He has indirect fire, but because everyone's shot, uh, no one can be a spotter for him, so that's a waste of everyone's time, is it not? I believe it is. Uh, he can't really see that guy because the building. He can't see anyone else because the building that he himself is uh, you know, receiving the benefit from. So, shooting for wolves... Um, we'll start with the Shadow Cat in the rear of Mr. Hermes. Hermes only has a thing of two for some reason, even though he's the same size as the Shadow Cat that has one for three. Bloody clanners. Uh, it's going to be medium range. It's going to be... Uh, uh, what did I say? Four plus three. Is, sorry, four plus two, which I'm butthurt about, is six. Plus two is eight. And yeah, there we go. Eight. Well, would you look at that? The dice are pitying me again. <laughs> the dice are like, you're making content. You should be happy. Here, have a double ones. So he manages to dodge out of this guy being an absolute clown of a person. However, this guy can still see him, and I think it would be smart for him to shoot him. Uh, and it is going to be all the same. But how does partial cover work, I hear you ask? Surely here it's cover from that. Half-sided thing, it gets a plus one. So what did we say? We need eights, so we need nines. And of course, not only does he get it, he far exceeds it getting... One, battery charging later. 
Alrighty, folks, my camera absolutely died <laughs> at the end of that, but uh, rest assured, the archer got away, right? Um, so we did the salvage. I, I, I just, I'm just going to finish this up and I'll, I'll give you the rundown, which is what we're doing now. We did the salvage, uh, and so I rolled for each one of the mechs that had been kind of, you know, destroyed, uh, and we got six parts. We did end up getting six parts, so according to what we were saying, we do get to do two choices. So we took two bits of Koshi, which means uh, we now have a Koshi for ourselves, but I think maybe we'll sell the Koshi and get uh, something else. Um, we also got off the board, which means we get our reward, which for this game is 44 points. Um, we lost the Orion, um, sadly, um, for our one. The Orion got, we got one third of an Orion, and we got uh, three, we rolled really good for the Hermes. We got three out of three for the Hermes. Um, and the Archer got off the board with one, one health. Um, so that was pretty good. The Cyclops also got off the board with one health. So, um, that's the state of affairs there. We'll do a video where we're going to work out how we spend our money, uh, and, and do stuff with it. And I think I might work out a system for doing, um, like a market so I can buy, buy mechs as well that are not on that list because we are getting absolutely pwned. Uh, if you have an idea of how I can do that, uh, do the market. I'm, at the moment, I'm thinking of just like listing all my mechs and like randomly generating a number between like whatever and like maybe putting like six or whatever mechs that I can have with a random number of parts, you know, similar to what they do in the Battletech game. But yeah, if you have an idea that's better than that, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, that's that video. Wow, what? I'm really bummed out. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just, the dice just keep not going my way and it, it's frustrating me. And so I need to stop playing games for a bit and do something else. So uh, hopefully you don't feel that way either. <laughs> and maybe we'll put together some of these, these MDF kits uh, that I got on my table here and do like a chill out stream at some point next and just, you know, I'll do that and ramble. <laughs> if that's a video you'd like to see, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just put them together myself and we'll play some other games. Coming soon uh, to a gaming channel near you will be a bigger game, but I just have to have more time without the kids to do that because this has eaten up like way too long in my day. This took like two hours to do <laughs> after all that. Yeah, my phone died, so it's about to die again, so I better go. Bye.